what you find, leg bone? Hmm? Yeah, a good boy. Good boy, you're so proud of that, aren't you, huh? Found this trail that's coming along the edge of the hemlocks and the hardwoods here. And a pretty decent scrape, looks like from last year, and a trail that's going across the contours here. There's a possibility of a, a tree stand right here. It's about 10 yards off this trail. Great edge location, but I'd love to find a couple of mature oaks along this trail. It's pretty much all maples for hardwoods. But I found this one monster of an oak right here. Find this open area that was logged, still with tops down, uh, a lot of browse, a lot of grass, and it's right on the edge of real dense hemlocks right up against a couple of trails that parallel the stream. Uh, there's a trail that's coming across in between this hardwoods and this edge right out into this opening where these oaks are and there's a trail down there about 30 yards right at inside the hemlock. Here's a telltale sign that this is definitely a heavily used trail. If you take a look right here this is an old log that's right here and uh, so many deer have traveled in and through here that they've kind of just worn a hole right through this log in this trail that's going down along the edge of the hardwoods in these hemlocks. I think this is a great place to put a stand. Uh, I found a maple right here that gives me an opportunity to shoot probably about 270 degrees around the tree and uh, I think it's going to be a great spot to sit this fall. So I'm definitely going to mark this one on my map with a black tree stand. I'm going to take all the appropriate notes that I need about the area and also take some pictures of the tree from the direction that I'm going to be coming in. I'm going to do a little bit more scouting right now but the last thing that I'm going to do is come back to this tree and then I'm going to walk uphill out of here and find a logging trail that goes all the way back out to the road where I park. Um, it's probably about a half mile back in, but I figure the longer I can walk on that logging trail coming in, the less disruption I'm going to have walking into the stand in the morning. Bonus, man. These are the things you work hard for. These are the things you walk through the woods and spend all this time out here for. I think this is going to be a killer stand in the fall. Only time will tell though, right? So overall, real good day out in the field scouting using the Onyx maps. Uh, some of the points that I had determined uh, way back in February or March that I wanted to take a look at uh, came through and they were real good spots uh, to take a look at and a couple of them were total duds. Uh, I did find out that there's not many oaks in this forest here, mostly birch, beech, maple, ash, a lot of hemlock, a lot of pines. So I did key on finding a couple of oaks that I thought were mature and uh, tried to set up on or around those oaks near some deer trails, uh, especially one that's on the edge uh, of a real thick hemlock stand and some hardwoods. Uh, I did find a secondary area too on the way out that's got a wild apple tree and a nice grass area that I can set up in. So a couple of spots here in this public land. Uh, I'm gonna go back and take some of the information that I plotted on my Onyx map now. And uh, some of that information that I plotted, I'll be able to go back and clean up and make it usable. Okay guys, I'm out of here for the bugs kill us to death. Go clean the pup up and uh, go back, we'll get some dinner. See ya. bench across this east facing slope. The real big rubs, put some scrapes, and then uh, came across this little bunk bedding area right here. Definitely any east winds, great place for them to come and sit, get out of the weather, and this bench continues across right here. I'd like to see if I can find a trail that intersects coming down. There you go. Always fun when the dog finds deer poop to eat. Yuck. I'm up on top of this ridge, and deer are definitely an edge species. And I'm walking into this pretty thick evergreen stand. There's this nice trail that's coming out of this evergreen stand. And this trail moves back to an east facing slope. 
and a nice heavy trail that goes down to a bench below it. There's some mixed oaks in here, so there's definitely plenty of mast. There's plenty of browse for the deer to eat in this area. And then right up beyond the pup there, I found six or seven rubs that are all on trees that are at least medium size. So definitely a place I think I'm gonna plot as a stand for this area. And I have to come back here in the fall. Just wondering what you think. I think this guy's got enough flags. I don't think he's gonna get lost. Well, I guess this means no entrance here to the state land I wanna to get to. That's kind of funny. So like I'll have to find another way to get to where I want to be. Timber. I'm walking right up along the edge of this creek and this trail is just beat down like crazy. And it's right up against this real steep slope of hemlocks. And then just across is this creek. And it heads up a more gradual slope there with a lot of oaks. What a beautiful area I stepped into. Came down off the ridge from the forest road I was on. It was all real thick hardwoods, a lot of mature oaks. This whole bottom is just full of hemlocks and mixed oaks in here. Got a beautiful creek on the other side. And on the other side of the creek goes up this extremely steep face, probably about eight or 900 feet. So it's a great place to funnel the deer walking on this creek bottom right along this edge. And my idea and goal is about 200 yards on the other side of the creek up there is to put a stand in an area where there's a couple trails that merge and there's a couple trails that come across the water. So I checked out some new public land today, just trying to find some access gates and I stumbled upon this creek bed that was pretty far away from any roads. There's some private property close to it, but it's probably two and a half miles to drive back on a like 10 mile an hour road to get back here. So I thought on this little piece of state land that's probably only about three quarters of a mile long along this creek, I dropped down into the bottom and see if I could find any trails near the bottom and uh, I hit pay dirt. Um, up on the hill behind me, I had uh, crossed the creek and climbed up the steep hill and I found two rubs that are fresh from last year that are both trees probably about, you know, three or four inches uh, in diameter. So I was pretty psyched about that. I followed the trail down and it's pretty heavily used and it comes down to the edge of the creek bed with some white oaks and some hemlocks. Uh, following the trail, there's been a lot of old rubs along the trail. And then uh, right here, there's two water crossings. Uh, one coming diagonally on the trail that I was just on and then one heading straight across So I'm pretty excited. You know you find those places after doing all this walking where you know You're gonna put a definite tree stand uh, in the fall. This is definitely one of them So definitely gonna mark this here now I'm gonna head back and see if I can find a way to get back out of here to the truck and mark that on Onyx maps it's really one of the important things is to make sure that you understand your entry and exit points to and from your stand to disrupt gear the least. Good boy.
enormous rub from about 50 yards away. We got up to it and looked at it closely. About six or eight trees around here all the same way. Another place porcupines and even in the winter time. Definitely not many nutrients in that meal. But that tree is going to be dead soon. So the pup and I are back to a piece of property that I scouted about a month ago and we're at the top of this really, really steep face and uh, most of the woods here is maple and uh, red oak. I actually came down over the top of the ridge where I parked and it's all been logged within the last 10 years. Um, some very recently is a year or two and it looks like some that's been, you know, 10, maybe 12 years just based on the rot that I see. And I'm following along this game trail right on the edge of this real steep ridge that goes over down in front of me and up behind me is the ridge that has all the down trees. So I think this is going to be a funnel uh, for deer and I think it's an afternoon stand where if I can place some thermals and some west wind and put the tree just downhill of this stand then the winds will be coming across this trail hitting me in the face and then going down over that steep face behind me. So we're going to keep walking along this trail. I've marked two possible spots that could be really good trees. We're going to walk all the way along this ridge. It's about three quarters of a mile long and I'm going to find two or three spots that I think um, are going to be ideal to sit at and uh, we'll mark those and look to come back to them sometime in the fall and see whether we have success. Yeah, you're eating that. I know, I know, I know. Walk along the edge of this steep face and I come across this little area right here, just a little flat bench, maybe only about five feet across. Leaves are all pushed down. It's a nice bed there. Deer can see downhill below them. And anything uphill behind them they can smell. Um, definitely a lot of oaks, so they don't have to go far to feed. And there's also a ton of browse in here. So great little bedding area on this steep slope. I came out this morning on another hike, early June. Uh, the whole purpose of today's hike was to uh, change some batteries on a camera that I had in the woods, make sure that I had the angle of the camera set up right. It's been in here for about a month and a half. I changed the SD card on that, checked the batteries. Batteries are still fully charged, and then I converted it over from photo to video and photo. So I'll come back in a month and I'll check it again. Uh, the second thing we were out here to do today was I wanted to find the specific route to get into this tree stand so that I did not disrupt a couple of bedding areas. So I had to kind of make almost a big U shape to get to the stand instead of walking straight down into it. And the last 300 yards I'm coming up in a stream bed and then I pop up out of that stream bed and only have about 40 yards to walk to the tree that I'm sitting in. So I used the tracking system on Onyx and now I'm going to go home and I will enlarge that on the computer and I will specifically plot following that track the line that I'm going to have on the Onyx map so when I come in in the dark to hunt in the fall I'll be able to specifically find how I'm getting into this tree stand with the least disruption to do. So I've been following this trail up along the edge of this draw. Like I said, it's pretty steep down in there. And then I found this trail that goes diagonally down to the water, crosses and goes up the other side to some farmer's fields. So I think this is a definite travel corridor. I think it's definitely worth investigating. Uh, I found a beach here about six yards off the trail that I can probably get three sticks up and uh, get a shot on either side of this hemlock right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot this as a possible stand location on Onyx. No, no, do not bark, no. Definitely not going to win any fashion awards today. 
old man glasses on because last time I was out I couldn't see. I'm heading across a swamp, so I got this to show you guys too. Yep. Got my hip boots on, baby. Time to get across the swamp. The dog is loving this. But I'm telling you what, pup, you're going to stink. That was 20 minutes right there, so I know for me, after I do my scouting here leaving, I'm definitely going to have to find an alternative way, whether I pop down to the actual uh, pond itself and canoe across, or whether I can find an access It's a little bit easier. We found some evidence of a rub. That's a decent sized tree right there. But that's the first one I've seen walking over two miles. So this is what I've been looking for. This area, hemlocks just off the swamp here. I have found at least six or seven nice rubs. But the issue is, is I think they're coming up out of the swamp. And I think they're moving through this area and then up into the hardwoods. So I've got to find a setup place which is not right on top of the bedding area. So this is what I've been looking for. I walked up above that bedding area up into the hardwoods. And I found this beaten down trail that's coming up out of that area where I found those decent rubs. It's nice because there's a lot of smaller trees here but there's also some nice oaks in this area. So I'm gonna find a place here just outside the bedding area to be able to put a tree stand and so far this is definitely my number one uh, in the swamp area that I'm hiking today. Altogether, it was definitely successful, although I realized that going in there with hip boots across the swamp was not the way to go. So the pup and I today did something different. We went to some swamp land instead of going to some hills. I can't even see through my glasses, soaked. We uh, found a lot of good information. Um, got absolutely soaked with a thunderstorm, and uh, on the way back over, uh, I was trying to find a way to get across the swamp. And um, I've got hip boots, and hip boots are awesome. Uh, the problem is there's a little canal in the middle, and uh, I stepped down into some mud, and when I did, my feet just sank. <laughs> Can't forget the other one. Also, full of water. I did find that it's easier to come from a road on the opposite side, even though it's a further distance. It's about seven tenths of a mile to walk in. Uh, I did go back in after drying out, and the pup and I found a way to get in that's fairly easy. And uh, now I'm going to take all the information that I collected in the field, and we'll go ahead and interpret it and clean it up. And uh, make it a lot easier to see those two trees that I want to go ahead and put stands in this fall. But we're home, and now it's time to get dried off and eat some lunch. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Kirk from Whitetails Deer Hunting, and this morning my buddy Lee and I are going to hit some public land that we've never been on before. It's getting near the end of July, so pretty much New York scouting is almost done. Uh, I'm gonna try and be done with all the New York State scouting by the 1st of August. Uh, so we're going to go out, see what we find, have a little bit of fun on a beautiful morning this morning. See you out there. And did some scouting there at one place where I found just a ton of hunting pressure. I mean, I found two stands in there and I found evidence of other hunting pressure, but that was the second time I scouted. And again, it started teaching me how do I find places to go where there's not as many people. And then from there, I just started, you know, flip into the next piece of state land, the next piece of state land, the next piece. I think I've been on six different pieces of state land now. This will be the seventh. And what my goal is, is to sit down and find like six, what I think are solid, mature buck places. To hunt. I pulled my first card when I sent you that picture of that bear. That day. Right. That bear I, I was huge. Dude, that's Holy a, moly. That's a 600 pound bear. I could not believe it. And the, the bear in front of it was, it was an average little. size bear. Yes. I was like, look crap. at that cub. I'm like, that's not a cub. I'm like, that's a two or three year old bear. I'm like, that thing's enormous. Yeah. That's 10 yards from my stand.
this is a well used deer trail or not. It's down over that steep edge down there. Well, not supposed to have stands on public land two weeks after season. You're not supposed to put them back up until two weeks before season. I'd say nobody's hunting this one anymore. Question for you, is this stand safe or not safe? Okay, so Lee and I are walking along the edge here. We saw something pretty cool. When we first walked across the ridge flat from the truck, uh, we saw a whole bunch of mature maples and it was really, really thick. And we're like, where are all the tops? This must've been clear cut at one time. Well, now that we're on the edge of this steep ridge, we've noticed a couple of things. Number one, the ridge on the top has no oaks, but we're finding a ton of oaks just over this steep face. We also found this old barbed wire fence right here. So Lee and I are thinking that this area on the top of this ridge had to be a farmer's field at one time. And the reason that we see all the mature pines and the thick undergrowth and no mature oaks is because this field was abandoned and it's been let grow now for what, 50, 60 years at least. And uh, pretty cool, you know, to find this stuff and try to get an idea of understanding the land and the property. So no doubt about it again, even though it's in West Slope, uh, we're still gonna be in a situation where we see deer along this game trail. And if we play the winds correctly, we can definitely go ahead and try to find a couple places to put a stand along here that's not too far of a walk away from the truck. The only thing that we have seen is we've seen some orange flagging tape. So uh, we're trying to keep an eye on that. It may tell us that there's a little bit of hunting pressure in here. Who knows whether it's during archery or a gun though. Pretty cool. Come on, you can do this like the deer do, can't you? Sure. Yeah, look at the pup. Just follow him. Well, I would follow the pup. Come on, pup. Pretty Probably cool. should have worn different shoes than this. Yeah. Pretty cool right there. It's all good. Have this rub in the trail that comes across. A possible tree stand right there. And a trail that goes back up there. Sweet. This oak in the middle, this hemlock woodlot, is absolutely enormous. So cool. I uh, got over five miles in this morning, found five potential stands, uh, two on ridge tops, uh, two just off the edge of some uh, stream valleys where we have some uh, corridors that parallel the stream and uh, one in an area that's surrounded by hemlock bedding and a lot of rub, so pretty successful. I will say that it was a little bit difficult to get through some of these areas this morning. Not used to finding deer trails that drop 15 feet over the edge of a steep embankment down across a creek, but we found that three or four different times today. The big issue is gonna be going home and interpreting these maps and finding what the best way is to get back into these to hunt, because our hike today, we were up and down some pretty uh, steep faces. I will say that there's a couple places we found today we're not going to find any hunters. So it's going to be well worth our time to plot the right direction to get in uh, to determine what's easiest to get in for those morning hunts and also what is best not to spook deer on the way in. Um, so I'll look forward to sitting down and working with these and uh, I thank Lee for coming with me today. It was much easier to have two sets of eyes today. So thank you buddy. Thanks bud. Well guys, this is the last scout for Timber and I this year on New York State public land. Uh, there is a possibility of doing one more with a buddy of mine halfway between his house and mine, but for me individually, this is it. It's a place I've been wanting to go to for two months. Uh, I have to take my bike and I'm not really sure where the gate is. So part of the first thing I'm gonna do here this morning is find the gate and then decide whether or not I need my bike to get in there. And then the pup and I are gonna go check out this property and all of August, it'll be checking cameras and making sure that I have my maps summarized and I have entrance points finalized. But for today, one more day in the field with a pup.
We'll see you out there. Well, a little bit of change of plans, guys. The uh, property for the road that I wanted to access is private, it's not open to public. So we looked on the Onyx maps, found another way to get in. Um, it's up a pretty steep slope, as you can hear by my breath. I've been mountain biking up from where I parked, probably about two thirds of the way up this steep slope now. Nice thing is I'm still on a real nice logging road. Uh, I doubt when I come in here to hunt, I would bike, but it'd be a very easy walk. Um, it's even better at some of the Forest Service roads. So I'm gonna keep going up to the top and I'm gonna determine whether or not I think it's worth it to drop down into that valley that I wanted to. Um, the difficult part about this would be is I, if I were to shoot a decent deer, it would definitely be a quarter and pack out in the field. Um, but it's worth checking these places out. You just never know. So I guess there's a reason I left this one for last. Looking on the map, I definitely knew it was probably gonna be the most difficult to find access to. And uh, this second way that I found to get in, not gonna work. I went about two tenths of a mile away from my bike and the slope down into that valley is, is ridiculous. Uh, I did find a couple houses on the, my way around the public land, which I think would be a goal for next year. See if I can talk to those landowners and possibly get permission to walk in across their public land to see if I can access this piece next year. Uh, but for this coming fall, not going to be hunting this piece. Sometimes you strike out. That's what scouting's all about. So the pup and I kind of changed plans a little bit, and we came to a second piece of property that I wanted to scout. Uh, not necessarily today, but since we couldn't get into that other property, we're going to come here. This is only about a quarter mile away from a place that I have a camera, and I know I'm going to put a tree stand up in the fall. Uh, there is a piece of private property in between. So I've always wanted to come down and kind of check this out. It's kind of a Y where two stream valleys come together. Uh, so we're gonna walk down in. Uh, I found a logging road and uh, we're gonna check this out. I found a great place to set up a tree stand. It's about a hundred yards down below us and it changes from this real thick understory and mature oaks into uh, a lot of hemlocks. And it drops off over the edge into the stream. Uh, there's a real heavy trail coming up out of that stream diagonally. Uh, I found four or five rubs on trees that were three or four inches in size. So I set up the location of a tree stand in a double oak. And now I'm backtracking out of here to try to find what's going to be the easiest way to get in here from the parking area. And I stumbled across this hiking trail as well. So I'm going to follow this hiking trail along and see if this may help uh, me get in here easier in the mornings. Well guys, this is going to be my last New York State Deer Scout of 2021. Uh, I would have liked to have had it done the end of July, but my buddy Blake and I just were not able to find a time in which we were able to meet in July to go out. So it's August 15th. Uh, we're going to go out today. we got a section of public land. We're going to hit about three to five miles. Actually have the pup with me today, but it's going to be actually the last day that you're going to see the pup on the show. I know you guys want to watch the show because of the pup, not me. 
with this six weeks coming up before season, I just don't want his scent in the woods when I go back and either check cameras or uh, I've got one ladder stand I got to drop off that I'm going to put in a place that's way out in the woods this year. Um, so for me, it's just easier to keep his scent out of the woods as we're getting this close to season. So the pup and Blake and I are going to head out. Uh, we'll see you guys out in the woods. Okay, so this is the map that we have. This is the road that we just came in on right here. Okay. And this is where I turned right there. That was cool. We saw, did you see that deer already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was a door. That was fitting. nice. Yeah. Very fitting. So those gates are there. And there's another gate that I've already marked that's up here. Okay. So that whole area right there is, is all seasonal use roads like this, which is nice because you're not going to see as many people in. Mm -hmm. So this hike that we have here goes down over the edge of this steep slope. We're going to come up this creek valley right here. Okay. And then there's a couple benches I think we're going to see. We're just going to work our way all the way back up that creek valley, up over onto this other bottom of this ridge right here. And then if you take a look on the topo map, you can see easier. See the topo lines now? Oh, yeah. Oh. So we're going to come around that ridge right there, and then we're going to work our way back, back to towards the, the truck again. Nice. So like I said, if we wanted to, we could cut that loop short right here. Well, I think we're going to be fine. You know, but I think we'll be all right. I got my knee brace on. <laughs> yeah. I, oh. I don't know if I want to sit down. I'm going to get back up. <laughs> I know, buddy. Oh. So, I think this hiking trail is old, number one. I do too. A lot of stuff. Yeah. They, they haven't cleaned it, they haven't maintained it. No. There's no sure. way it's still an equestrian trail because it's all overgrown right here. All right. So, I mean, this now, what used to be a hiking trail and an equestrian trail, has turned into a deer trail. And there is, what we say, 15, 20 rubs within mm -hmm. 60 yards oh, in yes. here. Definitely a great possibility too with that right here. Overhanging branches too. So it'll wash out. And then all these intermixed mature red oaks in the hemlocks. I think this is a definite place that what we've been looking for would be good. Yeah. As off the beaten trail as far yeah. as Well, like you said, stuff. it's not far away, but it's down over that steep face. Yeah. A lot of people are gonna say, <laughs> Yeah. Forget you, I'm not going in there. Some up and downs for yeah. sure. Yeah. So definitely got potential for a fourth stand for this yeah. property. Nice. And, and then we got this. Look at that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll take that. Bonus. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So Blake and I were out today. It's the last New York scout of the, the summer. Um, didn't quite find as much as we thought we were going to find today, but we found four stands. We found yeah, some yeah. good stuff. You All know. within 100, 150 yards from one oh, another. So. It was a little bit of a hot day. The pup did good today, and Blake and I are getting ready to do Ohio next week. Yeah. So we had a little practice today on how to evaluate some waypoints and stuff in the field and start talking about how we're going to do that. But New York scouting is over for me for 2021. Got to enjoy it with Lee two weeks ago and Blake and I wrapped it up today. And uh, I'll go ahead and get this video going for my New York Stouting and get that posted as soon as I can. See you boys, have a good day. Bye. Till Ohio. Till Ohio. <laughs> this is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My PA video will be up in the next week or two. Hope you guys have a great day and please don't forget to subscribe. See you.